So if you're in the service dog community and on TikTok, you've probably heard of this account. Uh, they post videos about their German Shepherd, Catherine, who is a service dog. This is their at, a uh, dog and his boomer. This account is just weird. See, TikTok, this is a toxicity I'm talking about. So let me prove this Karen and the other Karens all wrong. Is that what I think it is? Let's look at the ADA here. Um... Granted, anybody can get fake service dog credentials. Yeah, because there's this no is the nonprofit that I got Catherine in 2010. You can Google them. This is more of their websites, and they can verify. And they can verify that I personally donated five thousand dollars to them after they awarded me Catherine. I also raised money for two other service dogs for veterans. That's one veteran I helped get a service dog that I've raised money for. And that was back in 2010 when I actually picked up the dog in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. And I've clearly stated since February, since my dog's been diagnosed with cancer, that she's been retired, that I won't work her as a service dog. But she does go with me in places in public because she gets separation anxiety. But go ahead, Karens and Chads of the world, keep being toxic. I just spread positivity. Bye-bye. So you're saying that this dog is so old that it can't jump anymore. It, it can't be a normal dog anymore, yet you're still working this poor dog. This dog that is literally dying, you're still working it as a service dog. So this is the only task video I could find of this dog. Uh, it says his dog gets under its head when he's having a seizure or he falls. The dog is just standing there. There's also music playing. So, I'm really curious, did someone call the dog downstairs? Because the dog just leaves. The dog doesn't do anything for the handler, it just leaves. It's possible for a dog to call 911, but it never shows that. Service dogs are trained to not do this. There are multiple videos of this, of his so-called service dog stealing his food. He, he... He thinks this is how a service dog should act. Service dogs should not steal your food. I also hate this part. The dog is just sitting here sniffing everything on the shelves. Like, I don't know of anyone that loves their service dog to do this. If you look through this guy's account, you can see there's at least 50 or so of these videos asking for likes because his service dog is dying of cancer, that he's still working. Okay, yeah, this is very true. A service dog should not uh, be distracted at all. Um, sir, your service dog was just distracted. Fishing for likes again. Why is this so dog so far out? It literally tried pulling away right there. And it does it again in a little bit. Right there. Wouldn't your service dog be behind the cart with you? Likes. You may think this is the same exact video, but no, it's not. It's a whole different video. Don't eat my turkey. I'll be back in a minute. Don't eat my turkey. Some people in this comment section were saying that he allowed his dog to do this. Uh, I didn't know saying don't eat it was permission. Also, service dogs should not be doing this. Service dogs should be trained to never touch someone else's food without permission. They should be able to wait for food. Here's a video of him saying, Oh, my squeaky toy did not distract my service dog. And it didn't distract your dog because your dog is too busy sniffing the treats. So there's copyright music playing on this video, so I had to cut the audio, but you can still find this video on the, their uh, account.
This is something that left me in shock. He said his tripod fell and hit him, and his service dog attacked it. You know, seizure alert dogs usually immediately go to your face if you're on the ground. Why do you have to bribe your dog with cheese to get it to come over to you? This is something that's actually normal. Service dogs get denied out of places all the time. But something that left me in shock is he put certified service dog. Yeah. Service dogs should not be doing this. Some people have actually given out their opinion about this handler. And here's a few of them. Obviously, uh, usernames, profile pictures, all of that will be blocked out. Here's a few comments from other people and not just me. All I know is that this person is chasing clout by using his dog's cancer. He took her in a theater and bragged about how she only cried in pain once. The dog literally steals food. First off, if your service dog is retired, it is no longer a service dog. It is a pet. Second, this is apparently a very common thing about this account, where this account likes to literally just go around and harass real service dogs. For literally no reason. So we were on Dog and His Boomers um, live, and we said, hey, your dog has cancer and is way too old to be working. And he goes, and he saw Grayson's comment, and he goes, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're uneducated. She doesn't work. She tags along with me. That is working. And then he, like, said that Grayson's dog was an ESA and therapy animal or something like that. Said, well, my dog's actually trained, unlike your dog, who probably only knows spin. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadows 